just I see you almost every day of my life, which is too often. Um, once again, brilliant, brilliant show. I mean, it just gets better and better. People try and run golden gloves down year in and year out. The shows are just amazing. The, the talent, the young talent that we're showcasing on Saturday is amazing again. And that is why we're starting at 6 p.m. to showcase all the young talent. Talk to us, Mr. Ronnie Berman. I will, but before I start, I'm going to make one observation about this slide. I don't know what it's going to be like, but these are going to be the two best-looking cruiserweights in the world. <laughs> so that's uh, another aspect. Uh, yeah, the, the undercard, just before I forget, this fight is being televised live in a number of countries, but it will be live in England on uh, Box Nation. So it's big, big exposure for all the fighters here. They play to a very big international audience. It's not just Africa. Um, you know, the undercard, we have, I don't want to go into each and every fight, but there's some outstanding young fighters, which augurs well for boxing in the next few years in South Africa. We have up and coming talent coming. So it's very, very exciting. I think boxing is on a real high. It's just a pity about the Rand dollar, but other than that, we're doing what we can, and we have some great tournaments still lined up for this, till this year. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Rodney Bowman. See you. Talk to us about this fight. Uh, preparation is very good. Uh, thank you for helping the man for what you do for us. Mm -hmm. the, I watch all your, the fighters for this guy. He's a current forward boxer. But all the style is suiting us. Boyd Allen is 100% fit. He's ready for this fight. And is the number of five fight for Boyd Allen and win five. It's all, always unbeaten. Boyd, let me speak to you. I know you also not a man of many words, but you're getting better with the mic, I must tell you. Um, Boyd, great fight last time out against Taysa. Uh, could have gone either way after about nine rounds, and then you kind of picked up the pace again. And really brilliant fight for a guy having his fourth fight, I must compliment you. Now you're going to your fifth fight and it just gets bigger and better all the time, an international fight. How do you feel about this fight? Thanks, Brian, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, I'm super excited about the fight. I, I asked all of those and uh, they've been doing for an international fight and they've given me one, so I, I, I'm really lucky. And um, I'm looking forward to the experience. I, he's 13 and 5, he's got a lot of bites on his belt. And so, yeah, it's someone that I can't take lightly and we've been putting in the work. We'll see Richie have been pushing me. I've got a great team behind me and I've got great sparring partners. So I'm really looking forward to the opportunity and uh, to showcase a, a bit more of what I've learned. Well, thank you, Boyd Allen, and good luck in your first international professional fight. Thank you. Right, let's talk to the former W. Why did you take such a tough fight? Well, um, about six months ago, I stood here and I said um, he's probably the most talented fighter I've seen since Mizik Sakali. And um, nobody wants to fight Tavlani at the moment, vice versa, nobody wants to fight Michael. He's just a phenomenal guy, uh, Michael. You know, myself and Anton, we hate this, but we love it as well. Um, we go up to get each other, we've got so much respect for each other. And that's why we had the training camp we had. Um, I think the winner to, um, on Saturday, Will be the crowd. It's going to be an unbelievable fight. It can definitely be one of the fights of the year, I predict. Um, so, yeah, the reason I took the fight is we also want to make a name and get into international fights like Boy does. Um, and to do it, we have to prove that we're the best year. I'll get a better record than that. Is your O going to stay? Ah, it's, uh, it's definitely going to stay. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank our brother now for the opportunity. I'm really looking forward to the fight. Uh, it's going to be a tough one, but then uh, we're ready. So yeah, come Saturday. Give us a prediction, Jablani. Your man is here waiting to talk to you. Um, I can't say, but then uh, I hope I'm going to take the W. You're going you're to get one? You're going to keep staying eight and other? That's the, that's the goal. Right, Michael, a brilliant, brilliant fight. Like I said to Sebastian, why did you sign such a tough fight? For such a tough fight? Um, you know, Mike's uh, had a long run and he's due for a title fight and this opportunity came up, we couldn't pass up on it and um, you know, I don't want Mike to retire like I did without a title uh, the other thing is Sebastian said they wanted a credible opponent to show that Mackenzie's got it uh, they tried that with Cassius and it blew up in their face so um, I think Saturday is going to prove that uh, Mike's got the goods and uh, yeah, we took a big fight like this because we know we can 
Um, I was there at both fights. With, when, when you blew Thompson Makana out the water, and you absolutely destroyed former world champion Komanisi. I was very impressed in that fight. Michael, you've, uh, you're like a red wine. You, you, you're maturing late in your career. You're 29 years old now. And you, you seem to be a monster at 29 years old now as a fighter. Talk to us about this fight. Uh, thank you, Brian. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank um, the Golden Glass for the opportunity and um, also everyone that is here today. Um, well, in terms of the fight, you know, I work hard, um, Brian. I always bring my A game to the gym when I step into the fight. I step into the fight knowing that I'm coming for a win. I never step into a fight knowing with my heart, both ways, thinking I might or might not. I work very hard. And I've got a family to support, so therefore I cannot be coming here and be undecided. I'm coming here for a win, and I do not see Mackenzie stay going through the whole 12 rounds with me. He will never, he will not. And I think as I speak right now, he must subconsciously and consciously condition his mind to a lose because that he's not gonna he's not gonna he's not gonna get the W. He must think twice about that. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you, Michael McQueen for predicting a knockout for Saturday night. Are they showing you a good time so far? Okay. Uh, thank you. I would like uh, to thank for uh, promoter for this opportunity for Vassel. Uh, Vassel is a, a very good uh, fight for Vassel uh, for the next future. Vassel had a very, very hard uh, train, trainer with this team with the uh, players. And uh, he is steady on one other person. He will do all the best to, to win. And we will see you Saturday evening. Welcome to South Africa. Um, the, cha the challenger from the Czech Republic, undefeated in eight professional fights. You won many amateur fights. You've competed in MMA fights, EFC fights as well, which you've done well. But th this is the, the next level for you. Do you believe that you can dethrone the IBO Cruiserweight Champion Kevin Arena on Saturday night? Do you believe you can beat him? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Can, uh, can you give me a prediction for Saturday night? Have you come to one? I have no prediction uh, because uh, it's a boxing, it's a sport. And uh, in this uh, Saturday we, uh, we saw what is this boxing about the fight with uh, Joshua. So everything is possible. Uh, cruiserweight is a weight uh, for one punch, so one punch can can make make this decision. For sure, Anthony Joshua, like you said, proved that boxing. That's why they call it the sport of kings. There's like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're gonna get next. And there, Anthony Joshua was different. So obviously, it can happen. I agree with you. Anything happens in the fight game. Are you predicting that you're gonna go home with the IBO Championship of the world? I know only one thing. I I am. Uh, 100% uh, prepared and I, I will uh, do my job and we will see. We, I, I hope uh, the better boxer win and I hope for, for a good fight. Thank you Vessel. Uh, when I interviewed you yesterday for Supersport and they asked me to predict and I said I think Kevin Lorena is going to win, you weren't happy with it. So you obviously do believe you can win the fight. Joshua said, uh, said, said two predictions. So. <laughs> Good luck, Vessel Duca, ladies and gentlemen, from the Czech Republic, a challenger for the IBO Cruise. Thanks, Brian, and thanks, everyone, and Vassil, your team, welcome to you all. Um, you know, I must say one thing, as you say, you know, um, Kevin is like really, you know, producing what he should be doing as a champion, and that's growing to the next level. And uh, we are, we don't underestimate Vassil, we have big respect. We know you, you're a warrior and you're a fighter, and that's why he's here. He's not here because he's not, uh, you know, just a pick. So we do respect you, and you know you've done your work. As, as a pleasure. And um, with, with my fighter, Kevin, saying, we just go to the next level, and we keep climbing. And this is, this is another step up in our career. So we have prepared ourselves well for this fight. Kevin has done extraordinary work for this fight. And, um, you know, I, I know there's great things to come, but... We're not looking past this first. We need to respect what's in front of us and we'll take care of business come Saturday night. You know, obviously there's, there's a lot happening in the Cruiserweight division. It's, it's actually, it's become wide open now. Kevin, in fact, uh, will shortly be the, the only Cruiserweight world champion. 
as USAC moves up to, to middleweight, I do like to heavyweight middleweight, as USAC moves up to, to heavyweight, Kevin will be the only current Cruiserweight champion. Who are you looking for for next? Should Kevin win this fight? Well, you know, we, you know, uh, as, as, you know, we've got the planning going, we're definitely looking at, um, uh, at um, Gavor. Uh, he's one of the guys that we're looking at right now. So, uh, you know, that might be a fight in Germany. He might not be here. Uh, it's a big step for us because, uh, you know, Kevin is like the man in the Cruiserweight division to beat because there aren't any champions right now. So everyone's looking at Kevin, and it's and globally, uh, Kevin is just reaching out, as you could hear all the international guys speaking about Kevin and his performance. But we take fight by fight, and uh, we need a win, we need a good win, in order to really start owning the cruiserweight division. Because I believe once we, once it does, they vacate the belt for Kevin to go for, you know, the unification or whatever stands in front of us, we're going to be ready for that game. And so we're looking at the ball for the next fight. Thanks, Peter Smith, manager and trainer of our world champion, Kevin Larina. Kevin, um, another big fight for you, another defense of the world title. Your career has actually just progressed so fantastically well. You're 26 years old now, 22 and 1. And um, are you looking for another great victory like you did in your last fight? Most definitely, Brian. I'm always prepared to win. Firstly, welcome to Russell Dukar and his team. Thanks to my promoter, Rodney Berman, for putting on a phenomenal show. Barbarum, Barbarum Empress Palace, my trainer, Peter Smith. We really, you know, a lot of people say Vassal Dukas has half the amount of fights that you. People don't look at the amateur pedigree of that man. His other fights that he's had, MMA. He's a very experienced guy from different combat sports, and that's something you cannot overlook. We prepared. I don't talk much, Brian. I'm 100% prepared. People ask me, what's next, what's next? This man's what's next. When I'm finished on Saturday night, then we'll sit on Monday and talk about what's next. Thanks, Kevin. Well, you, you really become a great inspiration to all the, the young aspiring fighters as well. Everyone's looking up to you. Uh, we spoke to, to Peter Smith that I saw you whispering in his ear there who you'd like next. Talk to us about that and give us that man. Uh, like I said, Ron, obviously my main focus is, is on Russell. He's a tough competitor. We've got business to take care of on Saturday night. So I don't even want to think ahead, but there's multiple guys I'd like to fight. I want to become the unified cruiserweight champion of the world. In fact, I will become the unified cruiserweight champion of the world. It's just a matter of time. Is it going to happen this year? Is it going to happen early next year? But we've got a pencil in day possibly to fight Noel Gavor, God willing, things go well on Saturday night. There's also Marius Braders, a guy I'd like to fight. I believe I'll beat him every day of the week. So there's, there's tough fights in the cruiserweight division, but they're all beatable guys. Lawrence O'Coley, Eddie Hearns fighter, he's been calling me out. So the boxing world's calling me out, but I'm just focused on Saturday night and I look forward to the challenge against Vasil. Of course, and good luck for that. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a hand. The undefeated, I'll be a cruiserweight champion of the world. Undefeated.